Incomplete Magic Squares Part 1 In this video, we will learn about incomplete magic squares in a calendar. Hey students, Fruity has come to meet Appy again. He says, Appy, I have brought candies for you. Appy reacts happily and says, Wow! Are all these candies for me? Fruity says, Yes! But do you remember last time you teased me for chocolates? So today, I will also not give these candies to you so easily. First, I will ask you some puzzles. And if you give all the answers correctly, only then will I give these candies to you. So are you ready to solve the puzzles? Appy says, yes. Then Fruity asks the first puzzle. There is a second order square in the calendar as shown. Its top left corner number is 4. Can you find the magic in this square? Students, can you find the magic in this square? Appy says, The top left corner number of a square is 4 and the square is of the second order which means it has two rows and two columns. In this square, the sum of 4 and 12 is 16 and the sum of 5 and 11 is also 16. That means its diagonal sums are equal. So this is the magic in the square. And do you know in a calendar, the diagonal sums of all second order squares are equal? Fruity, now let me tell you one more interesting thing. Look at this square. In this square you can see that the sum of the first row, second row, first column and the last column is not the same. Hence, this is an incomplete magic square. Fruity says, right. Now let's see, can you solve my next puzzle? I am an incomplete third order magic square in this calendar. My top left corner number is 2. Can you tell me why I am an incomplete magic square? Appy says, the top left corner number of a square is 2. The square is of third order which means it has three rows and three columns. So, the third order incomplete magic square asked in this puzzle is this. In this square, the diagonal sums, middle row sum and middle column sum are the same. That is why this is a magic square. But you can see that the sum of the first row, third row, first column and third column is not the same. That is why this is an incomplete magic square. Hey students, do you think that Appy has given the right answer to this puzzle? Come. Now let's see whether Appy is right or not. After hearing Appy's answer, Fruity says, Amazing Appy, your answer is right. But do you know that in such an incomplete magic square, one can find the magic sum by multiplying the central number of a square by the order of a square? Isn't it interesting? 
come. Now let's see how you solve this puzzle. There is a fourth order incomplete magic square in this calendar. Its top left corner number is 3. Can you tell me what is its magic sum in just one minute? Appy says, As you said, the top left corner number of the square is 3 and it is the fourth order square. So the fourth order incomplete magic square asked in this puzzle is this. Hence, magic sum is 60. Then Fruity says, That was fast. But let me check it out. The sum of the central square is also 60. The sum of numbers at four corners of the square is 60. The sum of 4, 5, 25 and 26 is 60. And the sum of 10, 13, 17 and 20 is also 60. Hence, magic sum is 60. Brilliant, Dappy! Your answer is correct. Hmm. Appy, this square is of the fourth order. Hence, there is no central number. So how did you calculate its magic sum so quickly? Appy says, In a fourth order square, one can find the magic sum by finding the sum of numbers in opposite corners and multiplying it by 2. Here, you can see that in both cases, we get 60. That is, its magic sum. Fruity says, This is amazing! Appy, you are very smart! Now, I will ask you a difficult puzzle. In a calendar, there is a third order incomplete magic square whose top left corner number is 8. Can you tell me what is its grand sum in just one minute? Appy says, The grand sum means the sum of all numbers. Here, the order of a square is 3 and its top left corner number is 8. So, the grand sum is 144. Fruity says, Let me check. The square selected by me is this and its grand sum is 144. Happy, your answer is correct. But how did you calculate it so quickly? And that too, by just knowing the top left corner number of the square, Appy says, We know that in a calendar, the numbers in a left top to right bottom diagonal wise sequence increase by 8. So, I added 8 to the top left corner number and got the central number of a square that is 16. Then, I multiplied the central number of a square by 9 and got the grand sum 144. Isn't it amazing? Now, let me share a secret with you. See, in this square, the top right corner number is 10. We know that in a calendar, the numbers in the right top to left bottom diagonal wise sequence increase by 6. So, when I add 6 to 10, I get the central number 16. Now, I can multiply the central number of a square by 9 and find the grand sum. We can find the grand sum of a third order square by just knowing the top left corner number 
or top right corner number of a square. After hearing this, Fruity says, Fantastic! But Appy, I have a question. Can we find the grand sum of a fourth order square by using a trick? Appy says, Yes. See, this is a fourth order square. Its top left corner number is 1. Here, to find the grand sum, we must know the bottom right corner number of a square. For this, we will add 3 times 8 to 1 and then get the bottom right corner number that is 25. Now, we will add 1 and 25 and multiply its sum by 2 we will get 52. Then we will multiply 52 by 4 and we will get the grand sum that is 208. Fruity says, let me check. Oh yes, it is 208. Fabulous Appy! You deserve a reward for this knowledge. Take these candies. Appy says, Thank you, Fruity. So students, I hope you understood about the incomplete magic squares in a calendar. See you later.